It is Monday afternoon. It was a holiday weekend, so I'm expecting that people probably did some cleaning up, some donating to Goodwill over the weekend. So we're gonna jump in here and make some money. I know that the people who put stuff away don't work on the weekend at this store. And I know that they don't generally start pushing carts out until like 11. So I should be here like an hour earlier, but that's life. I just gotta get here when I can. So these are cool, I'm at 284. This I'm gonna get for personal, cause it's awesome. Um, Sean Livingston's a, he's a Golden State Warrior and an NBA champion that's from Peoria. The school where my wife did her um, student teaching. I'm really tempted by this one. It's got some nice heft to it, but it's missing tires on the front. This one's a little lighter weight. but it's still pretty cool. 10 bucks for these. So right off, this is not a brand I've ever heard of, but I just touched it. I'm like, man, that is thick leather and it's in like brand new condition. And so at 25 bucks, I'm definitely comping that. Uh, it looks like it's got a 100% sell through rate on the brand and probably a couple of probably a hundred dollars when it sells um i just want to make sure that i'm not missing anything that the ebay search engine is kind of screwy so i don't want to end up buying it and then go home and find that i wasn't looking at the right thing this is really weird because this first rack is so totally full and then again huge holes all through the rest of the department but i saw a couple of things here that looked interesting that's women's in the men's. That's 2XL, 10 bucks for uh, Greg Norman. So this one caught my eye. This is a cut tag. It's faded, but it's a cool camo pattern. Five bucks, I just don't think I need it that bad. That's interesting. Five bucks, obviously a Christian theme, like bowling Hawaiian shirt. But it's made in China and it's pretty cheap. If this was a quality shirt, I'd probably pick it up, but the quality of the material's low and it's just not made super well. And like a shirt like this, that probably the same person had this one, but that tag is always a dead giveaway that it's just a generic, like Timu, or like Sheen, something where it's like you bought it for five dollars off some internet website that's super sketchy. So Caterpillar's big around here, but International Harvester was also started around here, and Case International is still a big brand for folks around here, big jobs. Now that's a nice looking shirt. San Anglo Collection, Texas, made in Guatemala, six dollars. Hmm. I'm gonna put that one in the cart. It's a little hard to find anything when this is what the racks look like. What is this? Vish India with a kangaroo visa. I don't know that I'm gonna stand, take the time to stand here and comp every one of these stupid things, but there's a bunch of NCIS and there's the Futurama and the Simpsons and the Family Guy and Miami Vice. I don't know how many seasons of Miami Vice there were. This is a pretty cool stadium giveaway. SefQ is Caterpillar Employees Federal Credit Union. Or it used to be, now they've changed the name to something else, so it's not just for federal, for Caterpillar employees, but that's pretty cool. Even if it's, I don't know if it's worth flipping, but it's pretty cool. What is over here? How about a hang up shop bag? That's interesting. Vintage Globe Christmas balls. Zenith tape player. I think we'll see how much they have on this. It's gonna be on top. Six twenty-nine. Well, it's worth comping. Oh and I found this, which is not fantastic, but it's good. Fifty-nine fifty. Uh seven and five eighths. Probably made in China. It doesn't look like a made in the US one. Yeah, made in China. So it's not the same as the guys use wear on the field. 
it's still a really nice hat. It's only two fifty two eighty four. Ten bucks. I don't have a lot of luck buying VCRs, especially here. Um, model. Oh, VR4106. This feels like something that uh, Tim uh, Osborne to Thrift would make $700,000 on, but none of us know what it is. Let me look at it anyway. So there are 900 of that listed, and there are four sold, and three of them are the tape measure. Or the, not the tape measure, duh, the, uh, hmm. Three of them are the, just the remote. That's interesting. Austin pencil sharpener. All right, back to blue air. So it doesn't weigh as much as it feels like it should. 2270E reconditioned, that makes a difference. Well, that's too bad. I was about to show you these, but this one looks like it's a little too bent out of shape. It is matching the pair of Ikea lamps i guess it could be bent back out 284 so that one is broken it should have that face that holds the shade in what is this this appears to be a light that holds this painted piece of glass also ikea which makes it pretty easy to look up so yeah, four dollars and four cents a piece they include these pieces of glass and seem to be well worth picking up that is also a cheap ikea lamp and i had the thought looking at this a dollar 69 for sure but is it even worth trying to clean up and i went and it literally just comes off as easy as it can and when you're looking at ikea stuff it's that type number b0201 lampin hmm. Cuisinart, it's pretty dirty. This thing is ten dollars, and it's originally seventy at Hobby Lobby. I think we might be able to put that to use in the laundry room. This is the kind of thing I would have been excited to pick up at some point, but I'll probably skip now. 1994, it's two cereal bowls from Kellogg. Uh, but it's just not going to have much of an audience, and at the top of the market, it isn't going to be worth very much. This kind of matches the... It does exactly match the trash can that I just picked up. These at 99 cents are probably a little more generic than would be worth doing anything with. And this I probably would leave at $1.69 if I hadn't just found another piece that matches it. So this trash can, I don't even know if I got it on camera. Um, it's dirty and gross, but it's $1.69. And if somebody's putting that in the bathroom, then this can be their, their uh, toothbrush cup. But you're gonna wanna clean it out. Domino's by Cardinal could be really good especially at $1.69, but this is missing some, like it it isn't full. And the uh, sell-through rate's pretty low, but like at $1.69, if I can sell them for $40 in a year, that's probably worth it. But they're 2,500 listed and only uh, 2,000 sold. Is this, this is interesting. Hmm. And this is the kind of thing I would have just picked up. Like, oh, it's only three bucks. It uh, looks brand new in there. Uh, but you can literally get one open box for $11 free shipping. So it isn't worth picking up. I got to comp more stuff. I got to get better at comping everything that I try to buy. Excuse me. I'm going to sneak behind you here. So these are Nakona would probably be worth picking up. They're only $14, but they are in. I just think they're in too rough of shape for anybody to pay any real money for them. But Nokona, 
can be good, but just not these. And these are Thorough Good, which is a really good brand. They're dirty, but I don't know that they're in bad shape. Let me look what the price is on the other one. So they're pretty heavily walked in. But they're $11. I think I'm going to skip them. I don't know what this is. But for four dollars and four cents we're gonna find out moving data wirelessly installation instructions it's gonna make a wi-fi extender or something hmm. let's see i wonder since it says at&t if you have to have an at&t sim card that's where the battery goes Let's see, if it sells for money, I'll try and sell it. So they seem to all say AT&T on them, but um, there's 17 listed used, only five sold, and maybe it's 40 bucks, but maybe it's 25, and I think I'm just gonna not mess with it because I don't know very much about it, and I don't wanna. Okay, so this was $10 at the resort sale and didn't sell. It's Trail Gator, and it seems to be the kind of thing that you attach your like, little kid bike to to drag them pathlessly behind you. Um, but it's five bucks, four bucks here, and it probably should sell for forty dollars plus shipping. So I think this is a like a rooftop bike rack, um, and it's five seventy one. But God, what would I do with it? How would I? I mean, I'm sure it folds down. I'm gonna figure it out if it's worth buying. So it looks like that thing is like $35, $45 plus shipping. That looks like a lot of work for that much money. Game winner sportswear, made in Taiwan, So 284 for these, and then there's another bag that is essentially the same stuff for $1.69. This all came off that cart that I ran to grab. About an Irish helmet for $1.69. This is what I was excited about. And I might not even look too closely at these except for their like five bucks yeah so i'm gonna take a closer look at this i am not striking out today holy crap i'm uh, finding more than i can hardly even do or trying to keep up with my own comps so unfortunately the shop back looks like it's probably only twenty dollars i was hoping it might be twice that so as much as i like this shirt there are 70 listed and only nine sold used so it's just not worth it. If it was like a dollar, I might pick it up because it's a nicer one than a lot of them that are sold or that are available. But it's it's just it's too much money to hope that I'm gonna eventually get good money for it. Um, I just don't want it to sit around forever. And if like it is a better shirt in that brand, but it's not great by any stretch. This looks vintage, and it looks like it has Hello Kitty on the front of it. And anytime you find those two things together, you're going to want to look at it. So this looks like I should get 50 or 60 bucks for it. And these are always good if they're all there. Maybe even if they're not, but $1.69, these giant chest pieces. Let's go look at the fabrics, because that would have played on a rug, and maybe the rug is over here. Nope, not today. But it, I don't know that I would want the rug for sure. The chest pieces are the part that matters. So this is $1.69, and it is a nice long scarf, and they put pockets. They, like, overlap the ends, so it's pockets on both sides. And one side is obviously a minion. Obviously, the thing is not universal branded. It's a bootleg fan art, if you will. And I'm wondering, should I risk trying to sell it on eBay? I think probably not, 
but would you? Because it's neat. I like it a lot. My heart sank a little bit when I pulled this one, but it's a reprint. I was like, holy cow, I think I still may get it. Because while it is a reprint, it's not one you see all the time. Pretty tempted by that for five bucks. Really cool vintage. Uh, in good shape, too. A couple of jackets here that got put out since I was last up here. No, not anything as exciting as it looked like. I thought this was the colorway, but it's... Nope. So I was waiting in line and I just saw this. Yep. So that's what $150 looks like. But I sincerely believe there are a lot of products in here that will get me all of it back. Uh, I don't think you guys saw these uh, Sesame Street books that were six bucks for all of them. But I think you saw just about everything else. But I'm officially late to get the kids from school, so I need to move.